Okay guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be going over the new Ultimate Rare cards uh, from Ultra God Mission 4. Uh, so it's going to be starting on uh, September 15th, you can see here. So not too far away, just under a week. Um, and you've got you know, the uh, art of the you know, new movie with Cell Max and uh, Bez Gohan, basically you know, the two strongest characters in the movie. So yeah, pretty cool. So um, first of all, we'll just go over these two cards right here. So these are new cards. Um, they're based off uh, older, two older cards um, from the uh, of you know, ultimate rares from uh, basically like the last two years or so. Um, this Turles is from Big Van Mission Two, uh, number fifty three, and this Goku uh, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku is from Big Van Mission Eight, number number fifty four. And uh, basically, they had a uh, I guess it was like a survey kind of thing where like they basically said, okay, which are the URs you want to come back. And uh, these are the two highest. Tails was number one, and Goku was number two. Um, basically, they're both really strong um, and really expensive as well. So that's kind of why they wanted. Uh, well, I guess everyone playing the game wanted these cards back because they're hard to get mainly and also really strong. Um, so these are, like the new art. So basically, like the cards, ability, and stuff exactly the same. Um, just the card art is different, um, but the function is exactly the same. And I think I prefer the new art, especially this Goku. Um, this is the original Goku, and this is the new art. I think it looks really dope, you know. But also, the Turtles looks pretty cool. This is the new one here, yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. So these aren't, you know, new in terms of what they do in the game. So I won't really be going over um, their abilities, but yeah. They'll just show you guys what they look like. Um, so they're pretty cool, right? So yeah, cool stuff. Uh, and then now into the, you know, the main events. So these are like the fully new, um, new URs, like new card art, but also new, you know, like, you know, abilities and stuff. So yeah, got seven. Uh, first of all, we have uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. So yeah, nothing too special in terms of the card art. I mean, it looks, it looks alright, um, but you know we've had a lot of uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegetas. Um, so yeah, so his elite type, his HP is actually pretty good. You know, um, it's quite high, which is nice. Uh, he's got seven hero energy for his uh, super attack, which is kind of high. It's a gamma burst flash, which is you know a move they've pretty much given almost all these uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegetas for like four years. So it's kind of a bit annoying they use the same move over and over again. It's kind of it'd be nice if they could like add some new ones, but. Oh well, um, but it seems decently strong. Uh, first of all, his uh, card action ability is a counter rush, and uh, his extra effect is that his damage uh, he does is doubled when he activates it. Um, and if his uh, super attack right here, if it's sealed by the enemy, uh, then it will do even more damage. Um, it doesn't say how much, but it will do more, maybe three or four times. It'd be quite nice, I think. He's a unit with Goku and Yamcha, so both two uh, characters that have lots of really good cards, so definitely easy to pull this unit off. And only two energy as well, so quite a low cost. And the effect is that for one turn, uh, the enemy's HP regeneration is halved, and uh, they also can't get any hero energy from abilities that turn either. So pretty good effects as well. Uh, definitely an easy unit to use, I think. As main ability, um, so every round at the end of uh, so when he attacks every round, uh, at the end of the power level battle, uh, the enemy's hero energy will drop by one, and uh, your hero energy will increase by one, which isn't too bad. And uh, if during that round uh, up until that point around, if your hero energy was lowered, um, the effect will increase. So it's got to be at least, you know, two each, right? So lowering the enemies by two and um, boosting yours by two, but it could be more. I didn't say exactly how much again, but maybe three. If it was three, minus three and plus three, that could be pretty good, you know? Um, but we'll have to wait and see for that. Um, and uh, lastly, when he attacks, uh, based on how little uh, the, uh, the enemy's hero energy is, uh, Vegeta's power will increase. So if the enemy has like 10 hero energy, Probably won't increase that much, but if they have nothing or like one, it will probably increase a lot by you know his power by a lot. It's pretty good. Um, seems interesting. Again, lots of unknowns in terms of how much each of these effects um, increases by and stuff, but one to keep an eye on for sure. Next we have Yamcha. So only the second you are for Yamcha. It's pretty cool. Krillin doesn't have one still, but hopefully one day. <laughs> so Kara's pretty cool. Um, so it's finally got a new move. So pretty much the whole time in Heroes up until this point, he only had the one move, which was the, the Wolf Fang Fist. Um, but now we've finally got the Spirit Ball, or the Sulky Dan in Japanese. Uh, so his Berserker, again, HP is pretty good as well. And only 4 hero energy for his uh, Super Attack is pretty good. Um, and he's actually got a new card action ability, which is also called the Sulky Dan, uh, the Spirit Ball. So basically he's got it as a Super Attack and also as a card action ability. And uh, with some of the new campaign cards in this mission, uh, there's other characters that can use this uh, as this card action, which is like Goku. I think even Frieza can use it, which is kind of crazy, but pretty cool. And uh, for his uh, Sulky Dan uh, card action ability, uh, his extra effect is that the enemy's damage uh, will permanently 
uh, well, then the damage the enemy takes, sorry, uh, will permanently double, and uh, they also lose all their key. So pretty good fix on top of this, uh, you know, uh, collection ability, which is pretty good. Uh, it's also got a unit uh, with Goku and Vegeta, so again, really easy cards, uh, you know, to use because they've got well, so many good cards, right? You see these two characters um, for, for, for energy. So it's pretty low again, um, and uh, what it does is it basically uh, lowers the enemy's part level that turn uh, by 90%. So normally, uh, when you uh, when you basically use a key bar, um, it gives your team uh, 1,000 power level, right? It also make it so that they're only getting 100. Um, so yeah, it really cripples their power level. So you're almost guaranteed to go first if you use this, which is pretty good. And its main ability seems pretty good. Uh, so every round, uh, when he attacks, uh, at the end of the power level battle, uh, your ally's uh, key will increase, which is pretty good. And uh, any of your allies that have less than 100 power uh, will have their power uh, restored to, to, to their starting value that turn. So it's pretty good. So basically, um, if any of you guys like have the power reduced massively, but like you know, 10,000 or like minus 100,000 even, um, he'll just boost back to normal. So it won't increase beyond the starting value, but that's still that starting value is still going to be a lot better than you know having like a negative value, right? So it's pretty good. Um, so it means you can keep doing damage, right? Um, and also, if any of your guys have their Miracle Chance sealed away, so which is basically the chance to get a like, random perfect on your charge impact, um, those characters that have it sealed away uh, will ignore the enemy's guards. It's kind of like a nice uh, bonus if they have that. Um, so it's going to be harder to win those CIs, but you want to do more damage anyway. So pretty nice. Um, definitely a good card. Definitely easy to use as well, which is key in this game. So yeah, that's the Amja. Next we have the... Uh, sorry, just the standard Warrior in Black. Um, of course it's Bardock, so we've got Super Saiyan 3 with the uh, Dark Triple Power Up, looking pretty cool, this card is quite nice, um, definitely an awesome looking card. Um, so he's a hero type, HP is, you know, decent-ish I guess. Um, he's got the Final Spirit Cannon uh, for 7 hero energy, so again, yeah, kind of high. Um, and this uh, is actually different, we've had, we've had a previous move uh, also called the Final Spirit Cannon, which was basically the move Bardock used uh, against Frieza in the TV special. Um, we, you know, did absolutely nothing to his uh, supernova. Um, and though this one is actually the same name, it's actually a different move. Um, this is actually the move Bardock used in the Broly movie. Um, so it's pretty cool. So it's nice, even though back then they didn't give it to that Bardock. Um, it's nice to kind of see it repurposed here, which is cool. So yeah. Cool. And uh, also he's got a card action ability, which is the Bedrock Crash. And his extra effect is that uh, it halves the enemy's damage and also lowers the enemy's hero energy by two, which is pretty good. You know, definitely some good effects. Uh, for this guy, and he's also got a unit. There's a lot of units in this um, set, by the way. And uh, he's got uh, two members, which are the uh, Namekian Warrior in Black and also the Female Warrior in Black. So, both got really good cards, of course. And only two energies are quite low. Uh, the effect is I'm not, I'm not really too sure about the effect. Um, basically, for one turn, uh, your whole team's power will drop by 5,000, but in return, uh, their, all their guard will increase by 20,000. So, basically, Doing less damage, but you're getting more defensive. Um, which I'm not sure. I mean, there's a lot of guard, but I'm not sure how good it is. I mean, it's all right, I guess. Um, and no two energy is nice, but yeah, nothing super good, I don't think. But his main ability is really, really, really strong. Um, so basically, it's only one turn as well, but uh, in this one, you can do a lot. So when he goes into support, um, at the end of the at the end of the power level battle, uh, all of your guys uh, on your team, all of your members' uh, power will double, which is pretty good. And uh, all their damage multipliers will be kind of ignored for that round, um, which is basically, you know, when you like not your power, but you increase your overall damage uh, output. Um, so it'll be ignored. Obviously, if you have a guy that has like you know two times or four times power, oh, sorry, two times four times damage, whatever, that will be ignored, which is a minus. But you know, if you have it like severely lowered by the enemy, then that's also a good thing because um, you know you're doing you're doing normal, you're basically doing your normal damage, right? Instead of having it lowered, so. Basically, it's like a counter to that, um, and uh, also, which is probably the best thing, um, he also lowers all the enemy's power uh, down to 1,000, so that's really good because, uh, you know, 1,000 is almost as bad as having like a minus uh, value for your power because, you know, 1,000 isn't, isn't that great, and uh, it kind of gets around uh, certain abilities the enemy might have that, like, activate when you have less than, less than 100 power. Um, this is obviously over 100, so it's not going to that area, but it's still low enough that it's really crippling them. So it's pretty good, you know? Um, yeah, even though it's only for one round, it's pretty um, pretty impressive, you know? So yeah, definitely one of the strongest ones, I think. Probably top two, I think, of this uh, set. So next up, we have the Namekian Warrior in Black. So basically, no real 
form change or transformation, just his uh, cloak has been removed. Yeah, pretty cool art still. Nice and uh, dark. <laughs> Says Berserker. HP again is average. Um, he's got the Hellzone Grenade for 5 uh, hero energy, so again, quite a quite a good cost, right? relatively low. Um, he also got a Unit S uh, for 6 hero energy, which is quite high. But being a Unit S, it means he doesn't consume the energy. It just has to have it, but it won't go away, which is nice. Um, and uh, quite a rare one here is he's actually got four members, so himself and uh, the other three uh, warriors in black. Got the standard warrior in black, the uh, feature warrior in black, and also the female one. So yeah, four members, but they all got really good cards, so it's not, I, don't think it's a, I don't think it's too big of an issue, right? And uh, the effect is that for one round, uh, the enemy's power level can't increase over 1,000, so that's pretty good, right? Um, limiting their power level, you're almost guaranteed to go first, which is quite nice. So yeah. Um, interesting, doesn't have any card action or touch action or any extra ability here, which is uh, interesting. Uh, but his uh, main ability is probably why, because you're probably always going to want to put this guy in support anyways. Um, so every turn, uh, when he's in support, he can do a link line, uh, which is when he goes into support, he's like a line, and you can like basically target one of your allies that are attacking. Um, and uh, in return for this card, his power dropping to 1, um, the ally you target will uh, increase the damage the overall damage and also lower the cost for their hero, uh, for their super attack, right? So that's pretty good, but do, do more damage and also make it easier to unleash their super attack. And uh, the more key this card has uh, when you activate this ability, uh, the higher the you know, the better the effect is. So I'm guessing you know max key is going to be like maybe three or four times damage, maybe minus three hero energy. That could be pretty good. Again, lots of unknowns still, um, but yeah, that sounds pretty good. Potentially could be quite good. So yeah, yeah, nice card. Next we have Beast Gohan, so last, obviously last mission he was a secret, this time he's only a UR, but still, um, he's in, he might actually be better though, which is kind of crazy, because this guy is really good, and also the art's really cool, um, so, and they actually match as well, doing the special beam cannon, and he does actually have the special beam cannon as his move, which is nice. Uh, for so 7 hero energy, so quite a little bit higher than the secret uh, version, in terms of his uh, cost, but still pretty good, because um, he's so strong, right, um, and elite type, HP is quite low. But he's actually really good. So first of all, he has a touch action ability, which is the gun gun impact. And uh, the extra effect is that uh, all the five members, including uh, Beast Gohan that uh, successfully use this attack, have their power increased by 3,000 uh, times how much hero energy they have on their team. So if they have no hero energy, that's no boost, right? If they have one, that's plus 3,000 each. And uh, if they have 10, then that's plus uh, 30,000 power each. That's pretty, you know, potentially could be pretty strong boost, right? So yeah, that's really, really good. Next we have a unit with Goku SH and Piccolo SH, of course both for the movie versions, and uh, and they both got really good cards as well, which is quite nice. Uh, for 4 hero energy, it's quite low cost, which is nice. And uh, similar to the previous uh, card, uh, the enemy's uh, power level can't increase uh, above 2000 for that turn, so pretty nice. Um, again, really a good effect, this guy's really good. And last his ability is really, really good, so basically each turn, uh, at the end of the power level battle, uh, the Beast Gohan, this Beast Gohan card's power and power level will both double, which is already really good. That's already really strong. Um, and also, whenever he attacks, um, based on how much damage uh, he did, uh, every enemy except the one you attacked uh, will have their key lowered, and uh, you also uh, increase your own team's hero energy, which is pretty good. And uh, the less damage you do, uh, the better the effect is, which is kind of strange because usually, the more damage you do. Uh, in this game, the better the effect is, but this time it's actually less damage you do. So if you do like 10,000, 20,000 damage, it probably won't be that much of that good of an effect. If you do like 100 damage or something really low, it's probably gonna be like, you know, super, super good. You know, probably lowering all the key to zero and maybe like plus five hero energy. Again, I'm just guessing, it doesn't say exactly, but yeah, it could be pretty good. Um, definitely seems the best one in this set, I'd say. Yeah, he's a beast. <laughs> I mean, he looks awesome. He's a really, you know, cool character. I think he's gonna be really expensive because he just has, you know, everything going for him. So yeah. <laughs> Definitely going to be a uh, hard one to get, I think. Okay, two more guys. So next we have Cell Max. So I thought he would be in the last mission, maybe as a secret. But no, he's a just normal UR. Um, but yeah, he's pretty interesting. Um, card up's pretty cool. Obviously, as a giant character, he's a special type because, uh, you know, he's a, he's so massive. Um, but his stats are crazy. You got 1,800 for HP, which is quite low. Guard's only 1,000, but it doesn't matter because he can't really be directly attacked. That's kind of not important. But his power is 9,900, so it's the highest you can get without being 5 digits, right? Which is <laughs> kind of insane. Um, so yeah, and his super attack is the Max Smasher. Um, obviously, as a giant character, he doesn't need any hero energy, so it's kind of a zero, because he doesn't need any uh, energy to activate it. 
So obviously, just when he attacks, it's just a normal attack. You know, if he wins it, he can do his max smasher. But in support, um, he seems really good. So every turn, he can go into support. And uh, when when that happens, uh, he basically destroys half of your own uh, team's hero energy. And uh, in return, his power will increase. Uh, all the enemies' key will lower, and uh, all the enemies' damage received will also increase. So three really good effects. And uh, the more hero energy of your own team that you destroy, uh, the better the effect will be. Um, so max you can destroy half, which is you know five of ten. So max you can destroy five energy. It's going to be the best effect. Um, but if you have no hero energy, then instead of this effect, um, both teams' uh, HP will lower by five thousand. So it's kind of like a like just the I guess the bonus effect if you don't actually activate it properly, um, which is not that good. I mean you're both losing HP, so it could be good, but also bad because it's affecting you as well. But um, yeah, but all you need is one. You know, even one energy that will count. Seemingly, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah. So again, we don't know what the exact amounts are, but this could be pretty good, you know. So yeah. And uh, that's all the that's all, that's the, all the main ones uh, from the actual machine. Um, this last one, this Goku here, um, you don't actually get from the machine. You have to win this. Um, it's like a really small, like a random chance each time you play the game or buy a card or whatever. Um, and then if you actually win it, um, you can get this card. And uh, Usually you can just get it in the store or the arcade wherever you are. Um, they could be you just ask the staff member and they'll give it to you. Um, this card's a bit rarer, so seemingly you can't actually get it um, in the store. You have to actually um, basically call, I think, the hero, like the hero's website or something. Um, I'm, not exactly, I'm, not sure, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it's just, it seems to be a lot more involved this time um, than usual. But he's uh, really cool. So you can see like the Dragon Ball uh, writing here, and then yeah, and it's actually quite unique because. At first glance, it just seems like a normal Super Saiyan, but this is actually the old, original style Super Saiyan, you know, like the kind of blondish kind of, you know, this kind of, you know, classic style hair cut for like, hair style for like the Super Saiyan um, transformation. So in the game as well, it's also represented as well. So he has like different uh, style than usual. And uh, even his attack, which is the full power Kamehameha, is a different version than the previous Super Saiyan one. So yeah, he's still quite unique, which is nice. Um, hero type, HP is decent. And uh, 6 energy is, you know, not too bad, I guess, for his uh, full power Kamehameha. And uh, he's also got a touch action ability, which is the ultimate energy. And uh, his extra effect is that uh, it stuns the enemy, and uh, their charge effect speed will also be increased by a lot, which is quite good. And his main ability, um, so at the start of every round, uh, for every of your team members, apart from this, uh, this card, that are either stunned or have no key, um, for every one of those guys, uh, his power, guard, and power level will increase by 3,000. So, for example, say if you have two guys that are stunned and one guy that has no key, that's three guys then. That's plus 9,000 for power, guard, and power level for this guy. So, it could be some pretty good uh, stat boosts, you know, if you have lots of guys that are kind of uh, unable to fight or whatever, you know. So, yeah. And uh, if he attacks by himself each turn, uh, he can attack three times instead of one, which is pretty good. And uh, each time he wins his... Uh, charge him back to, you know, do damage. Uh, his uh, next attack that round will do three times damage. So, uh, three times each round, potentially. So, or to attack, right? So the first time you we win it, you won't get any boost. But if you want it on the second attack, then you'll get three times. And on the third time, you'll get nine times damage. So potentially nine times damage each turn. Um, it's pretty strong. It doesn't carry over to the next turn, but still, that's pretty good. Potentially nine times damage is, is uh, you know, pretty good, you know? So yeah. That's all the cards. Um, so yeah, pretty some pretty cool ones I think. Um, ones I'm most hyped for are the Gohan, and uh, the Cell Maxi looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, obviously the Goku would be nice, but he's kind of a lot harder to get, I'd say. So I'm not really holding up much hope for him, but yeah. So yeah, that's all about it from this mission. So yeah, so we should be getting the secret cards um, next Thursday. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so thanks for guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.